Hi everyone, my name is Omar and here we are in our third video of this tutorial series. We have come a long way. Think about it. We created our first Django application. We then created our administration side and uh, customized the blog and added some views in order to make it look nice. Now it's time to put the application into a container and push the image into an Azure container registry. This video, it will be fun, so let's get to it. All right, so first of all, I want to start this video showing you the Docker for Windows installed locally on my computer. And notice that there are no images as of now, and that's what we will be building today. For more information on how to install Docker, simply go to this page, and I will also leave it in the comments below for reference. Also, make sure that you have the Docker extension installed on Visual Studio Code. First thing we will do is to create a resource group and an Azure container registry from the Azure portal. Click create a resource group, give it a name and select the region that is close to you. In my case, I will select central US and inside the resource group, we'll create a resource and look for container registry. Select the resource group and give it a name make sure the registry is unique once you create the registry go to the access keys and enable the admin user since we will need the username and password later on when we create the pipeline now we are ready to containerize the application with a docker file and push the image to the registry so let's go back to our code in visual studio code and click on view, command palette, and type Docker. You will see the one that says Docker add Docker files to workspace. Now it's asking for the application platform. And in this case, we will use or select Python Django. You can also choose Python general. doesn't matter. We will change this one later on. So don't worry for now. Now it's asking for what's the app's entry point. You can hit enter for now. And we will specify the port, which in this case is 8000. And select yes for include optional Docker compose files. Now at the left, you see that created three files for Docker compose, Docker file, and the requirements.txt, along with the Docker ignore and Docker compose.debug. In regards to the requirements.txt, you can also run pip freeze greater than requirements.txt. That will create the requirements with what you currently have installed. And it will create a requirements.txt file, which I didn't run it here, but I ran it in a previous lab. So I will copy the requirements from my lab and we will replace the requirements.txt. For the Docker file, I will replace the code with the code I had for this lab and I will go over to explain what we are doing. We are basically using a Python image uh, 3.6 slim and we'll create a directory called blog app. I am specifying the blog app code is the directory that I will be working with. I will install pip and upgrade it and copy the requirements.txt located in the same folder where the Docker file is and copy it inside the blog app folder. Then we will run pip install soft, the software that is inside the requirements.txt file and we will copy everything from the folder where the Docker file is into my working directory. We'll expose port 8000, which is the default for Django and last but not least, We'll run the command python manage.py run server in this address, which will be my local host address. We'll grab those all those files and move them inside the project folder. Also, go into the settings.py file and in the allowed host section, we will add local hosts there so we can validate our app is running in the container successfully.
Now it's time to build and test our image. So let's change to the directory where we have our Docker file. So we will run Docker build dot minus D and give it a name for the tag. Let's check Docker now. And here we see our image listed now. Let's run it by typing docker run minus p for port. And we're going to put, I'm going to be using the default, which is 8,000, column 8,000, and the name of our tag. And let's validate if our container works. Let me go to the local host, and there we have it. We tested our image, and it works. Now let's go ahead and log in into our container registry. And remember, you will need to have Azure CLI installed on your computer to make this work. So let's log into Azure with AZ login. And after we authenticate, let's now run AZ, AZR login dash N for the name and the name of your container registry that we created before. Let's push our image by running Docker push and the name of your container registry login server slash your image name column latest. Now let's go ahead and validate our image is visible in Azure. Amazing. We have successfully containerized our Django application. We created an image, we test it locally, and we push our image into Azure Container Registry. In our next video, we'll finish our tutorial by creating a CI-CD pipeline using GitHub Actions, and I promise you, it will be fun. I hope you liked the content of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can keep up to date with the content that I will be uploading. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.